After a botched attempt to get rid of their workers, Walmart decides they're going to keep their disabled greeters. Walmart endured more than a week's worth of, of, ba of bashing before announcing it would make every effort to find a role for disabled workers who have been threatened with job loss as the retailer gets rid of greeters at, 1, 000, at over 1,000 stores. Amid a fierce backlash, Greg Foran, president and CEO of Walmart's U.S. stores, said in a memo to store managers Thursday night that we are taking some that we are taking some specific steps to support greeters with disabilities. Several greeters were offered new jobs at their respective stores on Friday, and they accepted the positions. Advocates for the disabled said Walmart is making the right move. By rethinking their action, Walmart is now opening the door to actually help individuals realize their full employment potential, said Cheryl Bates Harris, who's a senior disability advocacy specialist at the National Disability Rights Network. Walmart told greeters around the country last week that their positions were being eliminated in late April in favor of an expanded customer host role that involves not only welcoming customers but also helping with, re re with returns, checking the receipts to help prevent shoplifting and keeping the front of the store clean. The, port, the position required host to be required had required hosts to to be able to lift 125 pounds, if not more, and be, and to be able to climb ladders and do other tasks, which this wouldn't have worked with um that's, that type of position right there wouldn't have worked with um people who suffer spinal spinal bifida, or it wouldn't have helped people that has cerebral palsy because they can't do shit like that. Um, people with disabilities who have traditionally filled the greater job at many stores accused Walmart of, of acting heartless. Outraged customers and others started online petitions, formed Facebook support groups, and called and emailed Walmart corporate offices in Bentonville, Arkansas, to to um to basically register their their um displeasure. This was a major major league botch," said Craig Johnson, president of Customer Growth Partners, a retail consultancy, adding that Walmart should have foreseen the public's reaction. Someone finally woke up," Johnson said. "Hopefully they're now woke and they'll fix this thing the right way. The good news is it's it's is it's reversible." Foran acknowledged the change from greater to host and its impact on disabled workers had created some conversation. He wrote that Walmart was committed to doing right by these employees, noting that greeters with disabilities would be given would be given longer than the customary 60 days to find other jobs in the country. And he said, let me be clear, if any associate in this unique situation wants to continue working at Walmart, we should make every effort to make that happen, said his memo, which Walmart released publicly. Walmart has already started making job offers to the greeters, at least three long-term greeters, Adam Caitlin and Pence. Adam Catlin in Pennsylvania, Jay Milton in North Carolina, and Mitchell um, Hartzell in, in Florida, all of whom have cerebral palsy, have, to, have, have, have accepted jobs in the self-checkout lane. Catlin's mother, Holly Catlin, helped, all, helped call public attention to her son's plight with an impassioned Facebook post and has since advocated for graders around the country. After emailing, emailing Walmart CEO Doug McMillan every day, Catlin got a call from that corporate office on Thursday and, and on Friday morning, she and her son met with store management in the in Stellan's in Stellan's Grove. I decided I was going to be the squeaky wheel and squeaky every, and squeak every day. Catlin said and said, and and she's encouraged by Walmart recent my Walmart's recent moves. I believe the path forward is going to be good for these people. I think they're really going to make an effort to try to keep these people in North Carolina. Melton is happier than a bit than a pig in a in a mud puddle. Said his said his father Jim Melton. Foran, who heads uh, Walmart's, um, was it Foran? Foran, who heads Walmart's U.S. stores, wrote that greeters with disabilities face a unique situation, and each case requires a thoughtful solution. He said that Walmart's goal is to offer appropriate accommodations that will enable these associates to continue in, in other roles with their store. I still don't give a shit what they're trying to do, even if even if it's to make things right. I'm still protesting them.